Machine rumbles. Recipe. I'll take those recipes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> look at how they they look. That's that's funny. I love that. Trash. Wait, there's a, a thing here. But there's a thing. It's not just a trash can. Oh. That's weird. Let's go talk to Gepard or Jepard. Minor. <gasps> Sasha. My Sasha, is that you? Dad, by the Ember Lord, I thought I was never going to see you again. Praise the preservation, my child! Praise their leniency! And who's this little one? Here, Barry. Say hello to Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa. My grandson. Is this my grandson? <laughs> oh, that's so wholesome. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. I wanted to introduce you to my husband, too, but he can't get away from the publisher today. That's okay, my child. We've got all the time in the... Did you say publisher? Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet. <laughs> The Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Um, you're just... Nah, you were pretty naive. Your sister know what's up. I'll keep that in mind. Thing. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. You mean lying to them, right? She wants to lie to the people and get her version of the events out there? The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Spread that sweet, sweet government narrative. Uh, uh, excuse me, are you Captain Oleg? I didn't think anyone would still remember my name after all this time. Steel Ventriloquist. Of course we remember! Every young guard knows about your courageous exploits. Oh? Which ones might they be? The time I finished off that rampaging prowler with just three bullets? Or when I defended the outpost from monsters for six days straight without food or water? Six days without water will kill you. <laughs> you can't do that. I haven't heard of either of them, actually, but I'd love to hear all about them. Oh, maybe he drank his own piss. All right. 
he wouldn't die. Yeah, you can live longer than six, six days if you do that. <laughs> sure. In which case, I'll cut my walk short and tell you all the grisly details. Rumbling. Not. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling. When you stop and look back on the things you've done, and wonder at all the obstacles you've overcome, the strength you've displayed, and then you start to doubt yourself, and wonder if you've lost that drive. If everything were to happen again, would you still stand strong? What's going on there? Uh... You do? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's good to know someone in this world feels the same way as me. Don't worry. I haven't been able to sit back once over the past ten years. A moment's negligence could have brought wildfire crashing down. And the underworld would have been beyond saving. Staying vigilant wasn't the issue. It was the not knowing whether I'd ever be able to let my guard down again. No matter what anyone says, I believe your arrival was the reward for my long vigil. Thank you, Trailblazer. Nah. You did way more than I did. I don't see anyone else around. Okay. Let's move out. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. Oh. That's an interesting way to play the guitar. Impressive. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. Why? She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, oh, the sacrifice you. of Kakulia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away. <laughs> and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will in the far north. All eyes. I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy lies. us. Lies. More lies. In the last moments, the Supreme Guardian told the order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually Jesus came to Christ. read in her final moments. She wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and Underworlders must embrace the so dawn of a new age. People of the Underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. Because you know I you're lying. I know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. Oh, shut up. 
We know that without your propaganda, perseverance and government work, propaganda Bellabar and lies, will not recover its former glory, and the seed of civilization will nice not draw. be preserved. Nice art. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city for helping me keep up my lies. Most of you were not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them. That our world now flourishes with hope. And lies. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Telefon! That was unbearable. Wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. You mean lies. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. So you had to think you had to take control of the narrative with your lies. We saw her. Oh, she was there. She just made sure no one could see her. She did a poor job because we saw her. Azealia is still new to the vastness of the overworld. She feels uncomfortable in a big crowd. I'll help her adjust to life here. Yeah, you both deserve each other. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. Palatable? I hope you never have a similar experience, March. No, there, there's nothing palatable about, about those lies. I don't want to... Are you seriously going to force me to say one of these? I don't want to say any of these. Uh, here we go again. It's a fucking MiHoYo game, isn't it? I prefer to be honest with the people. I'm sure you would. But I also want to preserve their hope. That's not hope. That's lies. Don Hung, wanna... Talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Yet I'm still lying for you. Besides... For some reason. I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. <laughs> Except it's not. Because you're giving them false information. So you're trying to control their fate. Oh, whatever. And 
In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. Oh wow, a promise from Brony the Liar. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. I wouldn't. Five. Two and a half? Two and a half. I agree. What? That run of the mill, huh? Okay, two. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts oh, you want to share? You don't want to know. You don't want to know my thoughts. I'm very looking forward to the next one because I can forgive this being the first one. Maybe they, they didn't get stuff right. But if the next one is also not great, then that's going to be a massive disappointment. Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. This planet was, planet was awful. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos. Except for Hook, Natasha, Oleg, uh, Sparog. They were, they, they were cool. I like that part. And those characters. Sampo. I like Sampo. His stuff was also fun. What? Oh. Oh. So this one is HP. Simulated universe. HP and defense. All right. That looks pretty cool. Noise. Uh, what is the set bonus again? Attack. Speed 120? Uh... I'm not sure, she's not getting very... a lot of speed bonuses. Hundred and eighteen. Hundred and one. Eighteen. I mean, sure. New message, Himiko. If I blocked her, I didn't. Not to bully me. But I like it when she does. Alright, Bronia. If you walk with your head down and your heart full of fear, you're stuck. Oh, shut up. I'm not taking if advice you from you. Something. Thank Are you, you for teaching me this kidding trip? me? You. Whatever. Okay. 
almost as tall as a person. I'd say a, a little taller. That's a very weird map. In the globe revives geography. Find the location of Bellbog. That's a name. I've already given up trying to pronounce. That is really true. Northwest. It doesn't. Oh, that, that could be it. Sweet Pom Pom O Mine. Is that a reference to Sweet Child O Mine? Yeah, so we found Pom Pom. On the globe. Pom Pom. Yeah. It's like the rabbit on the moon. Speaking of Pom Pom, we're going to be talking to him, talking to him very soon. It would be better if there were no books in it. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, the jar. Unknown purpose. Okay. Goodbye, Bronia.